Hi everyone, it's Peter from PS Sound, and now this is the final walk around video of this golf build. Um, it's not finished, um, but as you could see from the introduction, uh, we were working on the dash. Well, we introduced that we will be working on the dash. Um, and then I show you what happened up front. Back here, everything is still the same as when Steve turned up when I showed it in the introduction video. Apart from the 3K. One of oh yeah, that, that wasn't there actually. Yeah, it's good to show it. But um, no, we didn't show it in the video when we showed the installation of this 24 inch. So we have now the Z3KD Mark II. Absolutely monstrous size amplifier, a three kilowatt um, monoblock. No, I talked about it in the IB video when I was saying that it has way more stuff squeezed into it then yeah, you see the three, three in the I don't know maybe um, it's, it's definitely doing a great job on the 24 it was highly needed and then up front so we didn't show that in the introduction Steve's door builds these are sealed enclosures molded to the inner skin uh, for the dual six and a half inch drivers they are Arco drivers um, kind of first production prototype ish um, drivers which is supposed to be a cheaper line like um, there's no point to say price but under under 1000 for a freeway with a single pair of mid base mid and tweeter but we will see what happens with it um, corona hasn't made people's life easy but uh, Marco is, is working on on something something special so they are running parallel um, on 2 ohm on the Zapco Z400.2 so they get something like 600 watts yeah you can't put 600 watts into them but they have plenty of headroom uh, to go loud and clean uh, Mundorf tweeter uh, that's a larger version of, of what we have on the dash so they are for the door open preset where the mid bass turns into wideband mid range playing up to like um, I don't even know where we crossed it roughly around 4k and then the tweeter takes uh takes the rest off on um and that's how we have a two-way system for double open demo then on the dash it doesn't look like we've done much we just slapped two seven inch <laughs> just, slapped two <laughs> just, just just slapped just slapped two seven inch um hybrid audio x6s onto the dash which used to be in my honda steve always wanted something large capable that can go loud too and um it just happened it was the right time they came out of my car as well we were looking at drivers and we were like just happened to be the same week that they came out of yours yeah, accidentally <laughs> <laughs> but um they are in um dash was out um i think this is a time when i'm going to insert a few pictures so you have an idea about the scale of the job um and they don't look that intrusive anymore once we have speaker cloth above them um they don't they're, yeah they're not in your face anymore and people wouldn't even think that there's a seven inch driver up there uh with those Mundorf tweeters in 3D printed temporary pods. Yeah, they look really funky in that neon orange color. Um, it's not finished. They are just um, temporarily mounted in adjustable um, little, oh, if I can show it, ball joints. Oh no, I can't show it. Can I show it? Yeah. As you can see, they have little ball joints for now. So we found the desired angle for them. We were testing them on horizontal and vertical aiming as well, because uh, these tweeters have very different dispersion character on, on X, Y axis. Um, we ended up with um, vertical based on the measurements. It was slightly better uh, above 8K, less peaks and dips. It was more linear, less EQ work. Um, and they work great after a long tuning session so this is this is pretty much a system right now with the zapco controller in there because so i think we didn't even show the little uh bass remote you have for the shakers in there 
which is too dark to see. But he has a switch hidden there with a little remote there for the shakers in the seats when he wants to go crazy uh, demoing, you know, electronic or hip hop music or whatever that needs a bit of excitement through the seats. And we didn't show the rear fuels, you're right. But Steve has hybrid audio X threes in the C pillars, which need finishing. But uh, yeah, they blend in nicely. Probably didn't show them because they hide so well. So this is Steve's pretty crazy golf system, SQ, SQL, crazy bass, everything. Yeah, mini Honda. So that's, that's, that's the point when we are after four days of intensive madness, transforming Steve's car. Uh, how many hours have we done? It's, well, it's been like 10 till like 11 at night most days. Pretty much. Yeah, long days. You know, Dash, Dash was in and out in two days. We had to do the trim ring, uh, yeah. speaker cloth uh, cover ring, bits and bobs. Roughly, the dash can be done in three days for two people, two capable people. Um, and then tuning, testing, testing the 24, fine tuning the system today. Plus, okay, we definitely spent more time with tuning because I wanted to teach you and Bill as well when he popped down with the um. Yeah. So we had about half a day in just testing the sub last night yep. as well. Just it's, trying to see what it'll do with it being the first one playing in the country. <laughs> kind in, of, in whole Europe. Oh yeah, whole of Europe. <laughs> the first fact, 24 fact, inch. With talking to the other guys, it's the first one using this application. Are okay, yeah, because this HST24 is originally designed for home audio and box application, but this is IB, true IB, and they modify the specs. Yeah. Uh, everything on the sub to be suitable for IB. Full custom. Um, yeah, it's it's quite something for sure. Those people who like the, the effortless extension and pretty much no limitation on, on the sub, you never feel like, ah, oh, I could have a bit more. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's none of that really. <laughs> you don't have problem with that. Um, it's, it's actually at the point if you go really crazy that it's, it's testing the car, yeah. What the car can handle, uh, but you know, for for sound quality, even you you dial it in with the right level, and it blends in. It just gives enough what you need, and it plays anything. So, what have we learned this week? Probably don't buy a twenty-four inch sub and expect it to work straight out of the box. Well, get ready for a crazy install. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Um, and is that what we learned? Dash build. Dash build. Yeah, it's definitely worth the extra effort. Well, it's not for most people. You're doing something you can't really go back from easily. Well, you, you can buy a spare dash. Oh, yeah, there's that, but <laughs> not everybody thinks in that sort of way of no. just change the dashboard. But I've said it in many videos, I would always put a, a mid-range, especially a large format mid-range, yeah. into dash over a pillar build, for sure. Um, yes, people cry that, oh yeah, you know, the, the stage becomes narrower, but then hey-ho, you know, the distance to the stage increases, so it's more believable, you know, the image is not in your face, it's, it's nice far out. Um, but then with the rear, then you have rear well, fill, it which then extends the stage width yeah. on its own. So, yeah it's working quite well together um also guys something new is coming for you um i think steve's dash build is going to be the first video that you will be able to watch on the new upcoming patreon ps sound patreon page that um, i'm planning to kick in hopefully as soon as possible so watch out for that as soon as it's live i'm going to make a separate video introducing it to you and you will be able to see steve's video on that of course yeah what comes with Patreon, ah, uh, it's it's not free. Uh, you know, I need your help to to keep me going because actually my life is is gonna get 
quite a bit more difficult. Steve knows now, um, mm -hmm. my friend B, who has helped with many, many projects in the last uh, few years. He's leaving, he's relocating to Canada. Unfortunately, he's not going to be in the car audio field. Um, so now maybe some Canadian followers may think, yoo-hoo, Pete's guy is coming over. But yeah, he's not going to be in car audio. He's he's a fantastic engineer and, and um, lighting engineer. He's going to be in that field. So um, yeah, I'm going to be on my own from now on. Uh, everything is going to be, be a bit more complex and complicated for me especially on, on big projects, but hopefully by, by this Patreon page, you can help me out and I will, I will be able to share more time for you as well, creating videos, because like putting this video together for Steve's dash build is going to take me a day. Yeah, it took a lot of time recording the footage as well. I have to yep. stop step by step and showing you how we've done each yep. individual part of the build as well. It's proper full on depth, you know, you've yeah. never seen a, a detailed dash build like this. No one has shown anything like that. What goes into the fabrication, everything. I think the only thing that we didn't record is how to actually remove the dashboard, which oh, is, there's a video on YouTube, how to take a dashboard well, out of the yeah, six. Like, it's going to be different for every single car, so it's not really something you can... If someone decides to take a dash out, then they have to do extensive work anyway, yeah. or they have to, they have to know their shit. Yeah. Um, but the fabrication side of how to do the audio, the mounting the speakers is all in the videos. Yeah, so it's just so worth they, yeah, looking out. Definitely worth for that. looking at. Guys, this is it for us for now. The final video of this project for Steve with me now. Well, it's yeah. not the final visit at this place, <laughs> no, I definitely think. Definitely not. Um, subscribe to the channel, do the usual things, feel free to share it, and yeah, hopefully. I find more time to bring the next video ASAP. Take care. Bye. <laughs>